The National Railroad Museum's Eisenhower locomotive is headed overseas. Yeah, it's perhaps the museum's most noteworthy and visible Rebate. item. It's being packed up starting this week, eventually on its way to England for a two-year stint at a museum for what you could call a family reunion of sorts. Tonight with Fox 11's Beth Jones there, train enthusiast said Bon Voyage. For 48 years, the British Railway's Dwight D. Eisenhower has called the National Railroad Museum in Ashwaubenon home. But this group of tourists from Minnesota and Canada were the last to see it here in America, at least for a couple of years. We obviously didn't know that was going to take place, but at the same time, it's, it's awesome. The locomotive and its tender will soon be making a 3,700-mile journey back home. It'll be on loan to the National Railway Museum in York, England. The passenger cars will stay behind. It's part of the 75th celebration of the World Steam Locomotive speed record set in 1938. There are only six remaining locomotives of this type in the world. The Eisenhower is one of them and all six will be reunited in england next july for the celebration you know at the time of course it's one of those pipe dreams you're not sure if it's going to happen or not but we've had tremendous support the project has been in the works for more than a year frank says donations primarily from overseas have made the trip a reality but it will no doubt be missed we've had a lot of folks from england and from europe come specifically to see this locomotive being as it's the only one in the united states so it's, it's definitely going to, be, going to be missed for our tours and for educational purposes. And with that, museum officials said their goodbyes Tuesday night. The locomotive will be packed up over the next few weeks. It'll then be shipped to Canada, where it will begin its journey to England in September. In Ashwaubenon, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.